happens today. Police swarming Midway High School after a Snapchat post showed students threatening to bring guns on campus. The school's principal saying that a number of fights started yesterday and that the threats were also directed towards some of the students involved. That's right, but some parents and students, of course, still scared to go to school today. Fox 44's Michelle Trotter joining us live now in the newsroom. Michelle, you spoke with some of those parents today. Yeah, the student I talked to today didn't go to school because she said she feared for her safety after seeing the Snapchats. Then the two parents I talked to today told me even though there was more officers at Midway High today, there's still three fights that broke out this morning. This is one of the Snapchat conversations that scared Midway High parents and students. It mentions bringing guns to school and includes pictures. One of them had told me yesterday afternoon that there had been a bunch of fist fights at school. It was related to the fist fights that had taken place during the day at school yesterday. Midway ISD responded to the messages by bringing in more security officers, but Starsha Cardona didn't see them. I went to the front of the school. I had three Hewitt police in their vehicles and no one in sight to be inside the school. Jean Mitchell and Cardona say police officers are not enough to secure the daughter's safety. I don't care if you have the entire world of officers. Can you guarantee my daughter's safety? And what is five extra officers going to do? I mean, there's like 7,000 kids there. Their daughters say they saw three fights at the school this morning. My daughter and her daughter are both texting us all day long. There are now 27 cops at the school and there's multiple fights all day. Tell me where the safety for my daughter is. And this is what makes me the angriest because this email they sent makes it out to be like, oh, it's nothing going on. It's fine. Everything's handled. No, it's not handled. Not by any means. Because it's continued through the night. It's continued today. And like I said, my daughter, I'm not putting her in school until I know that this threat is, is, is taken care of. I agree. I will not be sending her to school until I know that this issue is actually being handled. We tried to speak with Midway, but they referred us to this email, which says in part, we do not think their original posts are credible threats to school security. We are taking reports of this nature ser seriously and cautiously. Police are working closely with the families of the students involved. And we have the full emails that were sent out to parents on our website, syntexpod.com. Live in the newsroom, Michelle Trotter, Fox 44 News.